Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about quotations and we would also go inside the SAP system and create a quotation. So here we see a holistic view of the order to cash process. Now the first section is the pre-sales activities wherein the customer can contact us, they can have an inquiry, they may have a contract and a quotation. So these are the pre-sales activities wherein we can get inquiries from from a potential customer. So after the customer confirms the order, we would create a sales order wherein we have to make the sale to the customer. After that, once the order has been processed, we would have to pack that product into a box and we have to deliver the product to the customer. We have to create a shipment and then send the product to the customer. Now sending the product is also called as goods issue. So once we issue the goods to the customer, we will send the billing document to the customer for payment. So the last step is the billing part. Now, if you talk about transactions, it starts with inquiry. So V11 is for inquiry. And then we have a quotation wherein the customer gives a price. And once the prices are finalized, we will make a sales order. After sales order, we create an outbound delivery so that we can deliver the part to the customer. Then via VL02N, we can pick the quantity and as well as post the goods issue. And finally, we would do the billing via VF01. Please check this data where it shows that 74% of my viewers are finding value from the videos but they are not subscribed. So I appeal to all the viewers to like, share and subscribe to my channel. And please hit the bell icon so that you do not miss any notification. Now to create a quotation, the T code which you have to remember is VA21. So I type it here, VA21. And this is the screen for creating quotations. So you have to give a good sales organization, a distribution channel and division. So we will create uh, the quotation with respect to our inquiry. So we have created an inquiry in the last video. So we would take that reference and create a quotation. So first we have to enter the quotation type. The quotation type will be, if I do F4, it is QT. So QT is for quotation. And then I will click on this option, create with reference. So once I go here, I would have to put the inquiry. So I have a good inquiry here. So I would put the inquiry here and I would copy. So everything, uh, the, you know, the, the line item from the inquiry will be copied here. So I click on copy. And you see, uh, everything has been copied. Like we sold to party and the ship to party has been copied. Uh, the reference number we have to give. So for example, normally the nomenclature, is, as we had discussed earlier, that the nomenclature would be uh, a customer reference number. So I, I can write customer order 01 or maybe 02 so it has to be followed uh, I mean whatever the company suggests the nomenclature we can add the number here and then we have the material so the material has been populated from the last document uh, one piece is, uh, is ordered so if I go into the sales tab there are a lot of information like the required delivery date the pricing date the payment terms the inco terms if we go down we have the sales area as well uh, if you go to item overview, here is the material and I go into the shipping tab. So if I go to the shipping tab, I have the details of the plant and the shipping route, the shipping point. Uh, if I go into the line item, if I double click here and go into the line item, there are the various tabs which are important. Like in sales area, we have the date. In sales B, we have the material group. If I go into the shipping tab, we have the plant and the shipping point and also the location from where the material will go. So this is the location from where the part will go to the customer. If I go into conditions, these are this is the conditions that are set from the schema. I go to schedule lines. In schedule lines, I have the delivery date. So I see that the order quantity is here and uh, you have one confirmed quantity on 22nd. And uh, if I go into order data, I have the reference number I can find here. And I also have the status tab wherein the status is open right now and if I go down I have additional data A and additional data B so if I have additional material group data I can find here I go to the sales tab and most importantly after we have entered everything we go back here and we go to edit uh, and click on incompletion log so this is very important wherein the system will tell you what is missing so here you see that there are two things that are missing one is the quotation valid to date. So there has to be an end date of the quotation. So if I go inside and click double click, I can go to that field where I have to enter the date. So if I select a date, 
So I can give an end date here and I press enter. I go back and we have to fill the net value as well. So I double click here. So once I double click, I have to go down and enter the condition type for uh, value, uh, you know, entering the value. So PRP0 is, is, the, is, is the condition. So if I go give PRP0, I go up and I select uh, you. So any, any, you know, whatever price, what is the sales price it is, I can give here. And this is going to be green. Okay. So this is very important that whatever price you give, the condition type uh, should be active and it should be green. So if I go back, see, you see the document is completed. So I, if I go again to edit and I go to incompletion log, I will have the message document is complete. That means that there is no inconsistency in the document and I, it is good to post. So I will save it now. So if I save it, the quotation has been saved. So this is the quotation number that has been saved. So if I copy this and if I want to display it, so for displaying, I go back and I type in V A23 and the last quotation is automatically populated. I press enter. I go into this quotation. So I have the quotation number here. So to party, ship to party, the material, the quantity. If I go inside, I have the different tabs. I have the shipping tab wherein we have the location and the plant. I have scheduled lines with confirmed quantity and also I have uh, the status wherein it is still open. So this is the procedure for creating a quotation. Now in the next video we would go into the third step of the order to cash cycle. So the third step is creating a sales order. So in the next video we would show in the system how we create a sales order. So till we meet in the next video, take care and goodbye.